This is some mask I plays, and I'm super excited to bring you my pretty much, I mean, blind playthrough of Mario and Luigi Brothership. I mean, I haven't seen much on it other other than you know the trailers. Um, there's a few reasons besides just the fact that I'm excited to play this game because I love the Mario and Luigi series. <laughs> but there's a few other reasons why I'm super excited to get into this. Luigi? Oh no, I lost Luigi. Luigi! Luigi! But yeah, if you haven't heard by now, I'm sure you're all aware of IGN's poor review on this game. And after reviewing it, I'm like, a lot of things that they said, you know, kind of, like, make sense in some shape or fa fashion. Like, they talk about the frame rate being not great at times, which, I mean, it's a Switch game. I would not be surprised, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But when, like, looking at that, uh, they gave... Paper Jam, I think like a 5.9 or something, and they gave this game like a 5, and I'm sorry, but it's hard for me to believe that this game is worse than Paper Jam. Also, first introduction to the battles. Eh, don't worry, game, I'm an expert. See? Expert. I do like the battle theme, it's a bit like jazzy in there. Now, again, I don't know much about the game, because you know, this is pretty blind, I can only 
go off of things that I've heard, but I've heard that this game is roughly around like 30 hours or so, and because of that, and also just that, you know, I want to be giving the new game content to you guys, episodes are going to be a lot longer than they normally are for me. Usually I try and go between 20 and 30 minutes, but I think for this one, for this playthrough, I'm going to try for 30, in between 30 and 45 minutes, just to have some longer episodes. Because, I mean, if this is a 30 hour game, this is going to be a lot of episodes to go through. No, Luigi! But, going back to the, uh... Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, there he is! Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. I guess Luigi finally died, and now I'm talking to his ghost. And I just gotta follow his ghost, I guess. Luigi! But... Anyway, as I was saying... Beforehand, you know... Uh... Because of... Uh... IGN's review, I'm gonna, you know, keep an open mind to the issues that this game... You know, has, but... After I finish the game, I plan on doing a review video of my own to just kind of, you know, throw my hat in the ring, so to speak, and give my honest opinions on the game, because try and take off my, you know, biasy glasses, because I absolutely love the uh, Mario RPG spin off series. That being, you know, Paper Mario's the Mario and Luigi series, and also the, the Mario RPG, and all of them, big fans of the series in general. But, yeah, it just baffles me that IGN rated Paper Jam higher than this, and I think Paper Jam is a perfect, like, example of a, a game that deserves, like, a 5, because Paper Jam, in my opinion, had really good music, I really like the boss theme, and the final boss theme is extremely well done, in my opinion. And then, like, the bosses in that game, I feel like, are actually, like, decently enjoyable to play through. It's just that the worlds are kind of uninteresting, and... Gonna be honest, like... Even with the Paper Mario mechanic in there, it's like, the story was pretty vague. Even for a Mario game, it was literally like, oh yeah, they found a book and opened it up and then, uh, literally caused chaos, <laughs> and that's about it. But I'm like, it has some fun to it, it's just, you know, the toad-catching missions, and, like, I don't remember much about the worlds other than you have, like, a forest, a desert, and, you know, Bowser's Castle at some point, so it's like, I don't... Like, it just didn't give a memorable impression when I played it, so. I feel like it's kind of has a perfect deserving rating of a 5, just because it's like, it's fun. It has some fun to be had, but it has a lot of glaring issues. So, I am very interested to see what this game has to offer. Luigi? Let's go, Luigi, for the assist. Thank you. Mario. All right, the game is super cute so far. <laughs> I gotta say, it's super cute.
but a lot of the time I'm probably going to be pausing like my commentary just at times I'll just go quiet for a little bit just so that the story can yeah you know like cutscenes and stuff can play out and everything I don't wanna I don't wanna interrupt you know, the cutscenes and everything yep move for each of B yep but also, I've heard that there's a lot of dialogue in this game, so I'm planning on reading it kind of fast. So I do apologize if I go a bit too quick. But... Yep. Used to be. <laughs> Gotta get the Lord draw. <laughs> Yeah, that tree got wrecked. Jeez. Pig, what are you?
you know, just off the top of my head, like, thinking about it, I'm like, was Superstar Saga the only game that didn't have, like, like a partner with you, like, going around? Because, like, in... Because you have Superstar Saga, and you just kind of have, like, you have, like, characters like Prince Peasley occasionally, like, just show up and yell exposition, but... Like, as far as I'm aware, you always had to go back to, like, Bean Bean Castle all the time to get, uh, like, the story exposition, but... In, uh... In Partners in Time, you had, uh... The suitcase guy, I can't remember his name right now. Unfortunately, but it's been a while since I played that one. I should play that soon, after this. But, yeah, you had the... The suitcase guy, and then in Inside Story, you had Starlo. In Dream Team, you had Dreambert. And then Paper Jam, I think Starlo was also back. I don't remember if she was, like, the partner. Maybe Paper Jam didn't have, like, you know, that partner tagging along for, like, exposition and, like, driving the story purposes, but... And this one, I guess we got Snapman, so... As our, I don't know, exposition guy. I don't know, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Necessarily. Because I feel like, uh, the, the suitcase guy, when I get a chance, I'm going to look up his name <laughs> so I can, so I can remember what his name is. It kind of feels bad calling him the suitcase guy. I'll wait till I have a... during like a transition or something to do that. But it's him. Like, I enjoyed him and Starlo in uh, Bowser's Inside Story was, was fine. And then Dreambert I thought was an interesting character. My only problem with Starla is she's kind of like a jerk to Luigi half the time, and they just keep bringing her back in like Dream Team. And she's, it's like they've made her like a staple of the thing, and it's just kind of like, eh. To me, no offense, she's just not an interesting enough character <laughs> to keep getting the repeat treatment. But, yeah, that's just my opinion. Maybe everyone else loves her, so... Mamma mia! Yes, now it, but you can fly! I almost feel like this game is kind of like Galaxy in a way, you know? With just the island mechanic. Like, I feel like it's gonna have that same feel of just, you know, exploring islands, just like exploring new galaxies, and then maybe there'll be, like, you know, the big bad boss island or something for each, like, world or whatever. We'll see. Rumble Island. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, hidden stuff around. Probably not this early at least, but there might be.
nice landing. Oh, <laughs> real nice landing. <laughs> also, while I was loading up, I quickly googled it. Stuffwell. That's the suitcase's name is Stuffwell. I just had to say that to ease my own conscience on it. Hello. Uh, we launched ourselves out of a cannon, yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know if I'm gonna talk to like all the NPCs either. I don't know, that's just... Like, I guess I could miss dialogue, sure, but... I don't know, how do you guys play RPG games like this? I swear, I like... I miss a lot of stuff, I feel like, because I never talk to the NPCs. But... Maybe I'm just impatient, but I just have that, like, go, go, go attitude. Okay, but this guy had a... That guy had a bubble over his head. Maybe that's like a... I don't know, maybe that'll make things easier, you know, if they just have like a... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but if they just have a little speech bubble to let me know if I need to talk to them or not, that'll actually make things so much nicer. Also, I know there's autosave, but I got a manual save. It just feels. <laughs> it feels so right to just manually save. Artists and crafters. I feel like the outlet, you know, obviously it's like the electrical outlet type of people. Is kind of like the gimmick for the citizens of this. First battle together. Yeah, the combined attacks. Yep. A and B. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Nice. Okay, that is a little weird. Uh, usually in the other games you can press, like for Luigi, you press B. You have to click A for his attacks. Or like selecting his attacks. Once he's actually attacking, yeah, his buttons then B. It's a little weird. It's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, because B, B on that screen actually, uh, like, backed out to the options thing, so. Ah, they got the rank system, nice. Do I get a little spinny wheel? Nope, no bonus spin. That's fine. 
So they have the rank system again. I wonder if it's gonna be like. Uh, I think it's Inside oh. Story, yeah. That. Like, you can only buy certain gears at certain ranks. There's like a shop like that in Toad Town, I believe. Or if it's gonna be like Paper Jam, where um, each rank comes with attribute bonuses. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Like, level 8, I think? If I'm remembering correctly. Oh, yay, mushroom. Nice. Cannon. <laughs> We're gonna have to explain this to a lot of people, aren't we? <laughs> What do I do about that? I want those items. <laughs> Maybe if I had like a hammer or something, I could do something with that. But... Oh, nice. Oh, what the... That was weird. I went to jump with Luigi and he just jumped in place. Oh yeah, first strikes. Easy. Also, I do want to mention that eventually I am going to start cutting out battles. Like, just the normal battles, you know. Any, like, obvious, you know mini boss battles or like scripted boss battles or a scripted you know battle and then you know boss battles obviously I won't cut but Ooh, that was close but I feel like you know if it gets to a point where I'm just like fighting a ton of people for a long period of time and it's just kind of getting in the way of the story and it's uh and there's no like new enemy types, it's just the same ones over and over again. Then I'll probably start cutting some battles, but it'll probably be like a few episodes before I start doing that, because I mean, you know I really enjoy just kind of being immersed into it a little like this, but I, I definitely understand from a viewing standpoint it'll get repetitive. For sure. So Also, I like the, like, dances that they do. They're, like, idol dances. It's fantastic. Honestly, their, their like, jump dodges are a little weird. Because they're very floaty. And the enemies also just seem to, like, teleport across the stage super fast. So you really gotta pay attention, but... Again, I think it's just a, you know, learning curve right now. I'm sure I'll be able to get the hang of it. Sorry, dude, I literally can, like, not, I cannot tell the difference. <laughs> me too, Luigi, me too. See? That's weird. Okay. I get the gist of it now. Yeah, he automatically jumps over stuff. That's why. That's gonna take some getting used to. I'm, I'm so used to just pressing the buttons for both of them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna make that mistake in time. And just have Luigi jump in place for a second. Promise. It's gonna happen a lot. Oh yeah. Also, these, like... Oh. Probably need hammers. Yeah. Those, like, uh... Little, like, flower bulb guys. I... I feel like I've seen them before, but I don't remember if they were... an enemy before... in, like, a Mario and Luigi game previous. Yeah, Luigi, what's Whoa. going on? Hey. Alright. You gonna just high jump over the... Uh, the gate? I mean, you are Luigi. Just jump over it. Nope, he's going through it. <laughs> oh. Didn't realize I was mashing. Okay, Luigi. <laughs> ah, there we go. Well, that's one way to do it. Luigi logic. Interesting. Sure, there's nothing over here. There's more of those flowers. But again, I, I don't know. Maybe need a hammer or something. Huh. Okay. Dude, Luigi's like an errand boy. I could just go send him to do stuff. Alright, here's the item shop. Oh, it's these pipes. What they do in this? Ah, quick warp. Okay, that makes sense. Just a quick warp back to the uh, beginning of the thing. Yep, flew here by cannon from another world. Yada yada yada. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> the sea is mostly boring. Reefs. I knew there was suspicious stuff out there. Besides islands, of course. Hey, Broken, I have your hammer. <laughs> okay, dude, you're freaking me out. <laughs> It's a rock. Got it. Hey, be nice now. With it. Luigi loves it. All right. Got it. You guys won't mind if I just jump on this, right? 
<laughs> I knew it looked suspicious. Sorry, Luigi, I'm pulling these ones. So weird, I'm so used to these, like, signs being about, you know, telling me, like, what town I'm in or where, pointing an arrow saying, hey, go there. It's throwing me off. Split up and pull them, huh? Maybe that's what the yellow was for. Hey, it's a bird! Reminds me of the fat seagull from uh, Paper Mario 64. When you're riding the whale to go to the island, there's a seagull. That's a chunky seagull. And he's like, oh, I did it again. He's like one of my favorites. Like little just side characters that do nothing in that game, but he looks so derpy. I assume that's also a hammer thing. Hey, I can buy gear. That's a plus. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, I can barely, like, buy anything, but... At least the options there. Might as well make Mario's jump stronger. Typically in Mario and Luigi games, how it works is... Mario has a stronger jump, Luigi has a stronger hammer, usually. Unless that was like a Superstar Saga only thing, but... It's, it's these guys again. Oh, there's the person I'm looking for. And she has a hammer on her apron. Is she gonna give me hammers? Luigi, it's not that big a deal. We already fought these guys. Called his friends. Well, it's about time we stepped in to save the day. Guard arm? Guard arm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go, I finally timed that right. If you land on like their hands, they like walk it. Or they don't take damage. Nice. Be all right over there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
All right, bye, Snowlight. <laughs> okay, this is okay. A little hold B to fast forward. On any like subsequent playthrough, I probably will just be holding B like the whole time to fast forward everything. But on this playthrough, you know, I want to read and figure out all the stuff read all the dialogue, that kind of stuff. I still don't know what the lighthouses do. Well, at least we can get through. I don't know, maybe have to fight a boss or something. There's a giant keyhole and a key! <laughs> I just saw that. Guess I gotta get there first, though. But hammers? Don't worry, game. I know how to quit gear. I'm assuming this is also a hammer thing. Man, when do I get these hammers, man? It's just... The game's just taunting me at this point. Yeah. Oh. 